All right, let's move on to the next one. I realize we're only on number three, and I've got many, many exercises. Um, all right, does gender affect who does gender affect who gets searched during a stop? Okay, and the relevant columns here are driver gender, like before, and search conducted. So that's all I'm going to say about it. Does gender affect who gets searched during a stop? And those are the two columns that are key. Um, there might be things from the previous exercise you can use, or there might not. Do your best, um, and I'll be walking around. OK, all right. Let's go ahead and go through this. All right, hope that was fun. Um, so first, let's just forget about gender. So a lot of times when I'm doing something in Pandas, I try to simplify my task before I try to really answer the question. So let's look at searches, OK? So if we have just ri.search conducted, and you've probably noticed that I only use, I use dot notation basically. That's all I use. I don't use the brackets. So if you're not used to seeing that, my apologies, but it's all I do is, is the dot. Um, so if you had search conducted and you just wanted to know, hey, what's the rate of searches? You could just do value counts and you could normalize it. Whoops, sorry. And there you go. This is the baseline search rate. Okay. So, uh, what? And this is if you're if you're like, what do you mean exactly by search? I mean of search of your vehicle during a traffic stop. So in Rhode Island, within this data set, out of every hundred people who were stopped, three and a half of percent of them uh, had their vehicle searched. So that's what this means. Okay. So. Uh, there's pro he, he asked if, you, if I could display the counts and the percentages at the same time. There's probably a way, but it's probably a lot more code than you'd want to write. Uh, there might be a slick way, but I don't, I don't know it offhand. Um, so, all right, let's uh, get back to that normalize equals true. So, this is our baseline search rate. 3.5% of s stops results in a search. Okay, so I'm going to show you a line of code, and I want to know how it works. ri.searchconducted.mean gives me the same number as that second number. How does that work? One more time. True has a value of 1 and false has a value of 0. So when you take the mean of a series of 1s and zeros, you get the percentage of times it is a 1. Okay, So this is a neat trick that will simplify some of your pandas code. If I saw in just talking to people, I saw a lot of value counts, which is fine. But you can simplify your code even further if you're, let me restart that sentence. If you're doing a value counts on a Boolean column, Often, I mean, you're just going to get counts of zeros and ones, and you can always just get a sum to know the number of ones or a mean to get the percentage of ones. So it'll simplify your code, and what I mean by that is this is what I was going for. Uh, whoops, sorry. I'm going to group by driver gender. So for each gender, because in your head when you hear for each and group by, those are equivalent. For each gender, I want to select the, I want to get the mean of search conducted. I want to get the percentage of trues for search conducted for each gender. So this is what, if you got these numbers in some form, that's fine. This is kind of what you're going after is, okay, um, for females, they are searched at a 2% rate. For males, they are uh, searched at a 4.3% rate. Okay? So my question, one question is, does this prove that gender affects who gets searched. Does this prove? No, because we have no idea what the Right. So he was saying we have no idea what gave, like, why they were searched. Like, what was the probable cause? Is it that males are, like, 
meaner when they get stopped? I don't know. No, we, we don't know. All we've looked at is, is gender here, okay? All we've looked at is gender. Now, let me give you a hypothetical, okay? Um, and the hypothetical would be that when people are, ser when people are pulled over for seatbelt violations, okay, which is in the data set, um, they are rarely searched, let's pretend. And when they're pulled over for um, registration violations, they're often searched. So it could be that search rate is tied to violation and that men commit more registration violations and women commit more seatbelt violations, okay? So it would be one hypothesis where gender is actually irrelevant to the question of like, why, uh, why there's that difference, why uh, males are searched at twice a rate, there could be some other underlying factor. And so if you wanted to test that idea, and if you, if you got lost there, it's okay, let me, I think this code might help. If you wanted to test that idea, you might actually just do a group by with two, uh, a group by on two columns, Okay, so uh, if you didn't know, you can group by multiple things at once. You put them in a list, and then you list the columns as strings, okay? So all I did is I increased the group by to have to be grouped by two things, dot search conducted dot mean, and this is where the dot mean comes in much handy, it comes in much handier than value counts because it gives you that percentage. Now, if the searching was really because of violation type, what we would see is that males and females were like searched at the same rate for each violation. And then we might think, oh, males and females are committing different proportions of violations and that's why males are getting searched at a higher rate. Um, what do we actually see here? If you had to summarize this in like human terms. Yeah, in the back. Right, so males are getting searched at a higher rate for almost every violation, okay? Other than this other category right here. So, because you'll see the numbers are much larger for each violation type between males and females. So, does this prove causation? And the answer is no, no. Um, so this is, um, first, this is not a workshop about causation. Um, I wouldn't know how to teach that workshop. Although I do know that if you were uh, wanting to figure out causation, you'd probably talk to some experts. You might gather different types of data. You might design experiments. Um, you'd come, you'd, you could yourself do, come up with more hypotheses and test them with the data you have. Um, the lesson here, uh, there are two lessons. I have one is that causation is different, difficult to conclude, so focus on relationships, okay? Sounds like marriage advice. Focus on relationships, not causation. Um, and include relevant factors when studying a relationship, okay? Um, all right, let us move on to the next exercise.